To use a pointing device to move the pointer on a computer screen, a pointer can be in the shape of an arrow, an eye beam, a bar, or other object. Common pointing devices include the mouse, pointing stick, touchpad, joystick, and trackball. The trackpad and touchscreen are also pointing devices when used in combination with a digital pen, a stylus, or your fingers. You use a pointing device to make selections as you interact with computer programs. You can select commands by clicking icons or menu options. You can also highlight text and drag it to a new location. Pointing devices such as a mouse have scroll wheels that let you zoom, scroll, and navigate screens. Pointing device actions include left clicking, double clicking, right clicking, selecting, scrolling, dragging, and dropping. If you use your fingers to control a trackpad or touch screen, the actions you perform are called gestures. The mouse is the most common pointing device. It can be wireless or it can be connected to the computer via a wire or cable. Most wired mice connect through a USB port. Mice can be mechanical or optical. A mechanical mouse has moving parts, such as a roller ball, on the bottom. An optical mouse uses light emitting diodes, LEDs, to detect movement. A laser mouse is an optical mouse that uses laser light. A typical mouse has a left button and a right button on the top or sides that you press to perform different actions. Some mice have additional buttons for more functionality. In addition, some mice have a scroll wheel between the buttons. When you move the wheel, you scroll the active window in the screen. Some mice also have thumb buttons, which you click to navigate the web. Most mice require you to use them on a flat surface. But some newer mice, called gyroscopic mice or air mice, can actually be held in the air and can detect the motion of your hands as you move it in space. To use a mouse to move the pointer, you move the mouse away from you, towards you, to the right, or to the left. The pointer moves on the screen accordingly. When you move a mouse, the roller ball or light reflecting surface transfers signals as input to the computer so the software can respond to the actions of the mouse. The pointing stick, joystick, trackpad, and trackball also let you move the pointer on the screen by directing the device with your finger or fingers. The motion of a digital pen, stylus, or your fingers on a touch-sensitive screen also directs the movement of the pointer. When the mouse pointer is on an object, like an icon or a menu command that you want to select, you click. For example, you might click the bold button to make selected text bold. If you are using a mouse, this means pressing and then quickly releasing the left mouse button. A touchpad, joystick, or trackball also has buttons on either side of the device, so you press and release the left button to click. Sometimes you have to double click to issue a command. To double click, quickly press and release the left mouse button twice in a tap tap motion. For example, to select a word in Microsoft Word, you double click the word to highlight it. You can also start a program by double clicking its icon on the Windows desktop. Using a pointing device to move an object on the screen is called dragging. To drag an object, place the pointer on the object and press and hold down the left button. The object is selected and highlighted. Continue to hold the button while moving the pointer. The object moves across the screen with the pointer. When you reach the intended destination, release the mouse button to drop the object in its new place. Dragging to move or copy an object is sometimes called drag and drop. You can also drag to highlight text in a word processing program or a range of cells in a spreadsheet application. Click at the beginning of the text or cells you want to select and press and hold the left button. Keep pressing the button as you drag the mouse to complete the selection. When you have finished selecting what you want, release the button. You can then work with the selection using commands available through the specific program or move it in the application using the drag and drop technique. To right click, you simply press and release the right mouse button. In many programs, right clicking opens a shortcut menu that displays context specific menu options. 
Context-specific menu options are commands that are available to the current object, selection, or program area. If you are unsure about what you can do at any point in a program, right-clicking will often give you the common available options. For example, if you right-click the Windows desktop, the shortcut menu displays commands for changing the view, sorting desktop icons, and personalizing windows. Right-clicking a photograph you imported to your computer displays commands for changing or viewing the picture. Touch screens let you use your fingers directly on the screen to select, move, and change the size of windows or objects. Any finger motion you perform is called a gesture. Tap once to click. Tap twice to double-click. Drag your fingers on the screen to scroll up, down, left, or right in the direction you drag. You can also rotate an object on the screen by twisting two fingers clockwise or counterclockwise. Pinching two fingers together zooms in. Spreading them apart zooms out. On some devices, you can swipe fingers across the screen to navigate backward and forward. Press and hold does the same thing as right-clicking an item. For some devices, swiping four fingers away from you minimizes all the windows and displays the desktop. An upward flick moves a page down, and a downward flick moves a page up. Gestures can vary depending on the software and touch screen. For example, a tablet computer may use different gestures than a smartphone screen.